What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the new playlist update we got for new gen and PC. And of course that added in 64 player conquest and 64 player breakthrough. And I think this is something that the community wants to see stay as permanent mode and not just a limited time thing. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky, where you can use code grave at checkout to save 5% and Amazon associates. This is where I link a ton of items that I use every day in gaming. Uh, some things you might be interested in so give those a look and also be sure to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well and if you've not hit the subscribe button i would appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel now when it comes to the rush mode i've already talked about this i think rush was one of the best experiences i've had personally for playing battlefield 2042 or when playing battlefield 2042 it just feels less chaotic, a lot less vehicles, and that's my biggest issue with the 128 player servers. It feels like 80% of the time you're dying to a helicopter or a tank because there's so many vehicles available on the map in 128 player servers. I also feel like the maps are so large in the 128 player servers, a lot of times you're just playing running simulator, and there's been a lot of talk about this within the community as well. And I think people were really excited to see the 64 player breakthrough and conquest mode to be added into new gen and PC but they were concerned when it says it's a limited time mode. I think they need to just make these permanent modes along with Rush. They need to make Rush a permanent mode. Personally, for me on PS5, the FPS seems to be better. The performance seems to be better. I've even heard people talk about this, that it feels better and plays better and performance is better, even on the PC side when you're playing these smaller modes. And so I, I can't speak, like I said, for the PC side. I only can tell you what I've read. But on the console side, these smaller modes seem to perform a lot better, in my opinion. So I'm kind of curious, would you guys like to see these modes be a permanent thing? I know when the game first released, a lot of people were really excited to see, you know, 128 players on new gen and PC. But kind of as we've all played it, I think we're, we're kind of hoping and, and wishing that they would go back to the, you know, older player count. You know, that 64 player count seems to be kind of the sweet spot for Battlefield, honestly. I know a lot of people also would like to be able to play with their friends on old gen consoles, even though if you own a new gen console, like for me, uh, you know, I can play the PS4 version or the PS5 version. Uh, personally, I prefer the PS5 ver version better. It plays a lot smoother. It looks a lot better. Uh, and I think if you added, you know, these modes as a permanent thing, these 64 player lobbies or these smaller rush lobbies, you can just then, you know, implement the, or, you know, kind of integrate, I guess would be the be best word for it, uh, kind of the old gen lobbies and the new gen and PC lobbies together. If you want to have cross play on, you want to play 64 player conquest, you can play with everyone, old gen, new gen, PC, it doesn't matter. And then if you want to go play the 128 player lobbies, you know, it'd be kind of back to like it is now. You're just playing with new gen and PC players. I think most people would like to see this. Um, I think most people are going to say it would help the player base. For me personally, console player base on PS5 seems to be still really good. I have played with cross play on and off and I have no problem finding a lobby within about 15 to 20 seconds so that's not really been an issue for me personally i know it might be different on other platforms but overall i think a lot of people in the community are concerned that these modes are going to be limited time they're going to get rid of them and most people want to play these smaller modes and it's very you know kind of it, i guess eye opening i'm hoping it's even eye opening to dice and ea because there's a lot of people right now and i guess I wouldn't say a lot but a good bit of players online right now griping that you know, on Reddit and, and Twitter saying they can't find a 128 player lobby because everyone's playing Rush, everyone's playing 64 player Conquest or 64 player Breakthrough. And that kind of shows you that that's what the community wants or the majority. I know not everyone wants that. I know some people like the chaotic kind of, you know, 128 player servers. But for me personally, I'm a big fan of boots on the ground. I like, you know, combat with other players. I'm not a huge fan of vehicles. So for me, these smaller modes are a lot better for those, you know, kind of boots on the ground combat you know, opportunities. And when it, when I'm in those 128 player servers, I just don't feel like I have the opportunity as much to get in a fight with other players. I feel like I'm, you know, running for vehicles or just running in general pretty much the entire game. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.